when I had my overtired uh, hamstring and I felt it after my my massage, then I, when I went to workouts and just did, did the leg raises, when I got to the ground, the firing in my muscles just shut off and my legs just slammed the slammed the ground. Welcome back to Fueling Your Life podcast, episode 13. Today we are going to talk about rehabilitation, and that's usually after you have you have had an injury. So usually what will happen when you go into rehab and uh, getting back in shape is that you will both train a specific muscle depending on where you got your injury, you will do some mobility and you will also do some stretching most likely to release all the tension in your muscle and then you get your mobility back and then you start strengthening the muscles again because usually what happens is that also your muscles contract to hold it together also depending on the injury you have had so let me give some examples so for example if you're going to get some uh, rehab exercises that's more uh, for strength training, then you will you are probably seeing all these exercises where you have internal and external rotation with your arm, which is mainly for the shoulder. So you train all the supportive muscles for your sh- shoulder, basically. Also, a lot of people have used them to... Uh, to just put in that daily routine so you can use all these exercises to add into your daily routine, add it into your warm up, so you actually are strengthening these exercises. Because it's not only exercises that are good for when you get uh, or after the injury, but it's actually also good before so you can prevent the injury. And that's a key aspect. And for example, so I dislocated my right shoulder so what happened is it got very tight as all the muscles as the arm just pull out then all the muscles get super stretched and they they just try to hold the shoulder together and then when it's back everything is just like cramped together and I lose the mobility as everything is just tightened up so what I had to do is I had to do some these uh, mobility a training exercises with the resistance bands where you do internal and external rotations and in that way you can get a stronger uh, shoulder again and it will keep the shoulder in place another example is for example if you have knee pain then uh, then it usually the pain is usually not where you have it is from other places. So if you are knee pain, for example, it can uh, be a cause from a uh, weak hamstrings, glutes, uh, and tip braces. And what actually helps you recover from it is actually start training these muscles, and especially glutes, hamstrings, and tip braces. They are only muscles we do to stop when we are walking or when we are running. So they are not as developed as our quads and as our calf muscles. And you can especially feel it because a weak muscle, a super weak muscle tends also to be very over tight. So you can feel if you get a massage, you can feel that it is super and super tight and very much over tight. And for example, for me, I actually end up with the lower back pain just for getting a, a bit of release from over tight hamstrings. But I will come into that later. Going into mobility and back to my discolated shoulder. Then the first thing I had to do was to regain the mobility so I could start doing this exercise. So that will be I had to use my left arm to assist my right arm to rotate it back and start pushing it slowly and steadily. So in that way, I will slowly get the mobility back and can start moving again. And it's, 
and you have to start legit from square zero and just take it slow and slow and slow but when you just follow the exercise and follow the plan then you will immediately get good results for me just in three months i did consistently all the exercises and keep pushing it a little bit to get it better and better and also test out my shoulder as it got stronger and after three months i was already back to do a muscle up then my biggest problem was actually that my muscle endurance which is the endurance for locally for the muscles so the endurance for my biceps and so on that was out out of the window so I ex- so now i'm actually uh, i'm currently working on building up my muscle endurance again and i still have two more months and then i have to go back into training my strength and to get that up because just from doing 10 pull-ups so i was still able to do 10 pull-ups but doing 10 pull-ups i was just completely out of breath it was too uh, exhausting just to do 10. i have the strength to do it but i didn't have the stamina to do it and then when it comes to stretching so stretching is a good way to release tensions in the muscle also you can do foam rolling as it can help up loosen loosen the muscle and help it to relax so when i had my overtight a uh, hamstring and i felt it after my my massage then I, when i went to workouts and just the the, the leg raises when i got to the ground the firing in my muscles just shut off and my legs just slammed the slammed the ground so what i did was that uh, for one or two weeks just the foam rolling every single day three times a day and then i just trained my hamstrings as much as possible and also gave them time to recover but then over time in two weeks pain then my lower back pain actually disappeared and it was simply just from super tight hamstrings and that's also how the whole body is connected that usually where we have pain is not necessarily where the problem is it's relies somewhere else and especially also today when we sit down so much we can easily tend to get an injury in in a weak muscle as we just never use our muscles especially the hamstrings our tip braces and glutes get very impacted by it and they get very weak our hip flexors too get shortened so these major areas can really help you to remove to re- get relief from back pain to get relief from knee pain and so on so that was it what i have for this episode i'm coach jasper i'm out see you next one